Welcome Capricorns. <laughs> I'm back with another video, y'all. So let's talk. Let's get into some things, all right? Let's get into some things. This is going to be for the month of December, okay? So if you are new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss out on future videos, okay? So we got a jumper already. We got the wheel. All right, so there's a shift. There's some type of shift here. There's some type of changes, okay? Some type of changes that are being made. And this is also like the universe conspiring, okay? All right. I see that you're trying. I'm getting like some of y'all are trying to make a, a decision, okay, on how to move forward. Something that you have faith in. You know, something that you have faith about that you want to see progress or catapult to the next level. Okay, I'm seeing that. Okay, so let's see what we get. Message is there for Capricorn, please. All right, so we got the three of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. But this is definitely like coming back together, reuniting. Um, we got the sun card here. There could be a Leo involved. Okay, and the three of water is also like a third party situation. Um, some of you guys are trying to balance balance your approach, okay? Because we got the king of air. Some of y'all are trying to find a way to balance um, how you speak or how you present yourself to a person or a situation, okay? You may have realized that you need to make some type of balanced approach, okay, in order for this situation to come back together, Okay, you've been being a hermit. You have been being a hermit. Okay, you have been isolating yourself. Okay, some of y'all have been doing some soul searching. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, which some of y'all have been, you know, being to yourself, meditating, you know, discovering yourself, figuring out what it is that you want to do, what it is that you want to manifest. Okay, what it is that you want to cut out. Give me another message for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Okay, we got the eight of earth. Okay, so you're putting in the work. You're putting in the effort. This is something that you really want, okay? Something that you really want to come back together. Something that you really want to work towards. We got the knight of water and the ace of pentacles. Someone here is asking for an opportunity or a chance, or somebody's asking somebody for a favor or money, okay? Somebody here is, I'm getting like, somebody's thinking about moving to work on something, okay? Somebody's thinking about moving to work on something. But somebody is very controlling. Got the king of air and the emperor. Somebody here definitely has control issues. For sure. Somebody here has control issues. Why is the three of water here? Yeah, see, you're trying to balance out a situation for sure. Some of y'all are dealing with the Libra. But I'm just getting the feeling like some of y'all are trying to balance out a situation to bring it back together, okay? Yep, unity, right here. It's right here. <laughs> You're wanting to balance the situation out, okay? So I'm getting like a 50-50 thing. You want this, you want something to work. Seven of Earth, okay? This is being patient. This is planting seeds. This is also investing, okay? 
You may have invested a lot into this situation. So you want to see it work. You want to see it grow. You want to see where it can go. Okay. You're holding on to feelings. You still have feelings for this person. Okay. It could be a water sign with the king of water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, somebody here is discussing. It's like you're discussing. We got the justice card. You're discussing, you know, you're having a conversation with this person about balance. You're having a conversation. I'm getting like compromise, okay? Because we got balance and we got justice here, okay? So there's some like balancing the scales here. Let's see what's going on with this hermit. The Empress. Okay. Some of y'all have really, somebody here has done the inner work and has blossomed. Has blossomed. Has I'm seeing some growth. Somebody here has grown. Somebody here has definitely grown. Okay. I'm hearing somebody say, I'm a strong woman. The dreamer. We got the dreamer here. Okay, so this is the fool. Okay, so somebody here is taking a risk. You want to take a risk? Yeah, we got the knight of fire. Uh, with the knight of fire, though, I'm getting like, a, you know, this energy really can't be taken serious. Okay, are you dipping your feet in and get it wet just to see what's going on or what? Okay, some of y'all may be dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay? But yes, okay. So yes, you really do want to be with this person. You want, yes, okay. I'm getting it. Like someone here is speaking their truth or there's a clear, somebody knows exactly what it is that they want, okay? I got the lovers. So you know clearly what it is that you want. You know who it is that you want, okay? We got lots of water here. Ten of ten of water. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the white picket fence. All the kids running around the house. This is the emotional fulfillment card. And it's right here with the lovers. Okay, so you know who it is that you want. You know exactly what it is that you want. With the Ace of Water, this is an overflowing of emotions. So you really do care about this person. You really love this person. Okay, we got the Queen of Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So you really could be dealing with a water sign. I'm feeling like you're having regrets about some action that you took possibly in the past. Um, with the Two of Water, about a relationship, a connection. Okay, some type of passionate, fiery romance here. It was done out of ego, okay? It was done out of your ego, okay? I'm getting that there was some sneaky business going on with the seven of air, some lies, some tricky, some deceit. Somebody here with that 10 of pentacles, with this 10 of, 10 of earth, okay? Somebody here could have been married or somebody is in a relationship, okay? All right. So now we got the eight of earth. So now we got effort and all that being put in. Uh-huh. Okay. You possibly are working on your communication skills. I'm getting that you're spying on somebody. I'm getting a Leo. You could be spying on a Leo or a Leo is spying on you. Somebody here is undecided, okay? Maybe this Leo could have been part of a third-party situation. But I'm just getting like, there's something here about, there's something here about balance, about give and take. I'm getting, um, what's the word that I want to use? Um, I'm getting, I can't think of the word right now. <laughs> It'll come to me. But see, you, you're hot. We got the high priestess and the two of fire. You know, I feel like intuitively, you know who you want. Okay. Mm 
you may want this person to fight for you or vice versa. King of air, yeah. See, you're working on your communication, okay? This is the way, a big awakening for you, okay? You may, nobody has ever probably possibly checked you and said, hey, you need to work on your attitude. You need to work on how you, what you say to me. You need to work on how, but I'm getting like you guys went through some type of awakening, okay? Because something here, I'm getting somebody has some type of ulterior motive or there's some type of drama linked in this situation that caused a big awakening, okay? It caused a big awakening moment for sure, for sure. We got the nine of water, okay? This is a wish fulfillment, okay? Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but maybe this is somebody speaking their truth. Maybe you want this person to speak their truth, okay? I'm getting you manifesting, okay? And you're getting your wish, okay? Because things are going to progress. Things are going to move forward. Yes, the two of earth and the king of earth. But some things are going to have to get cut out. Something is going to have to end here. We got the sun, okay? Some of y'all may have to cut off a Leo. Some of you may, uh, you know, once you cut something out, you're going to see things for, for what it is, clear, Okay? Don't get the clarity that you see. Somebody here, I'm getting like you're moving on from, from something, okay? You're moving on from a situation that no longer serves you. So let's see what other messages we got. Let's see how this all ties in. messages are there for my Capricorn well of fortune I'm telling you some changes are being made okay things are going in your favor okay it's like it's finally your time six of pentacles the five of swords page of cups The death card, the three of swords, five of pentacles, the six of swords, the magician, and the outcome is the four of wands. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got going on. Um, I'm getting like you finally get the chance to speak on how you feel about something. Finally, I'm getting that. Like, I feel like you've been holding back. I feel like you've been holding back. Like, maybe you don't didn't feel like you had a chance to speak your mind. But I'm getting like, for some of you dealing with the Pisces, but there's kind of like some secrets, some things that you've been holding back, okay? Some of y'all have been real deal, like, keeping to yourself. <sighs> Some of y'all have been in hiding. You're afraid that this may start an argument if you speak your mind, okay? And there's the justice card again. Okay, you're trying to balance out the scale for some. This could be a karmic situation, okay? So you're kind of like afraid of where this is going to go. All right, we got the Queen of Wands and the Five of Wands and the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So, yeah, something going on here in your past. I'm getting like, could have been dealing with the fire sign or there's a bunch of different females or a bunch of different males. Queen of Cups and the Star card. Okay, some of y'all have been dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah. All right, this is your chance to 
kind of like uh, to speak, okay? To speak your truth, your chance to put things out there on the table. I'm getting like somebody, yep, the two of pentacles and the lovers. You guys have been juggling. I feel like you're tired, okay? You're tired of sneaking around. You're tired of, of lying, having to do, you know, be sneaky. I feel like you're, you're tired, okay? You're tired of it. You're tired of it. There was some big awakening in the past, okay? Um, some of y'all was just afraid to, to tell the truth. Some of y'all was just afraid that this person was going to walk away if you told them the truth. So you just didn't. Why is the three of swords? Somebody's heart possibly gets broken, okay? Somebody's heart is possibly going to get broken in the near future, okay? Maybe somebody, you got to cut some people off. You got to let them go, okay? High Priestess and the Strength card. Keep picking up on Leo's energy and Pisces, Okay? You're going to do something new, okay? I feel like some of y'all has some, some things just waiting, hang, hanging on in the air. Just hanging, okay? If you want this happiness, okay? You want that ten of cups? Nine of cups, you want it. You're going to have to let, you're going to have to put down these, these little swords, okay? You're going to have to put them swords down, okay? <laughs> Why is the seven of wands Yeah, see, you don't want to hurt nobody. You don't really want to hurt anybody's feelings, but somebody going to be surprised. Okay, somebody's in for some type of awakening. That that the chapter is going to be close. So you're closing the chapter here with somebody. Somebody's going to feel like something isn't fair or isn't right, but you got to cut them off. Okay? Look at you. You got to pull out that King of Swords energy. You got to cut that off. Okay? And see, we got you guys here with this Five of Pentacles, the Strength card. Again, the Strength card keeps revealing. So some of y'all dealing with Leo. You may feel like, you know, I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss all the fun. It was fun. I'm getting it was fun while it lasted. Mm -hmm. But you're on the new things, all right? Yeah. You got to, you, you, you. <laughs> You kind of burnt out. You burnt out, okay? You possibly are waiting for them to figure it out, but somebody here just isn't figuring it out. So you're going to have to go in and possibly give somebody some news that they don't want to hear, okay? How this person feels about you, we got the Six of Swords. See, yeah. See, their guard is up anyway. Their guard is up anyway, and they already... Some of them have... Some, some people have already moved on, okay? They know... That's how they're hearing the lies, too. The Magician. Okay, we got the Magician and the Queen of Cups. She keeps revealing herself as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, Making somebody mad, though. You fear making a whole bunch of people mad at you. Um... It is what it is. When you, you have to face the music, okay? You have to hold yourself accountable for whatever actions that you take, okay? So if you want this Ten of Cups and this Four of Wands, which is your outcome, let's see. Why is the Four of Wands here? In the Tower. Somebody here could have been married and been playing like they were single, why is the tower here? Mm. Somebody's surprised that somebody's going to work on a marriage or work on a family or somebody's going back home, okay? Somebody thought that some, somebody, people were thinking that you were single, okay? Yep. I'm hearing single man, single woman, and they're surprised to find this out, okay? But nonetheless, you're going to be moving forward. This is Cancer's energy. Okay, you're moving forward because this is what you want. Yeah, you want something new. 
okay? You feel kind of bad about it, but you know it is what it is, okay? That chapter is closed. You're, you're closing that chapter, okay? So good for you, Capricorns. Good for you. You guys have grown, all right? You're growing and flowing. Good for you, okay? You're going to piss a couple of people off along the way, but hey, you got to make the best decision for you. All right. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.